Hello everyone, this is HGS Guys here, back with some more Hearthstone Arena action. As you can tell, I'm currently 1-0 with my ridiculous deck. Now, uh, the first game is uploaded on my main channel, youtube.com slash huskystarcraft. However, I am going to be playing any Hearthstone videos in the future that I play will be on this channel, youtube.com slash husky. If you don't like Hearthstone, well, you're probably not in the beta. It is honestly an extremely fun game. Highly recommended as soon as you can get in. And let's go ahead and continue. Now, I also want to to say a lot of you in the other video at least on the other channel I, I like I like to think it's two different groups of people a lot of you are giving me a hard time about being really bad at the game and I just want to say in my defense I'm actually really bad at the game that's totally fine we're here to have fun let's go ahead and keep on playing we're gonna match up against somebody We'll just have to wait and see who it is. Now, I did do a couple of practice games versus bots as a rogue deck. Of course, you can't use the same deck that I'm currently using because it is my arena-only deck. But uh, we'll have to wait and see. Also, keep in mind that I am very, very low on actual cards that cost mana. So I'm kind of curious to see if I'm able to win any more games or if that one game was pure luck. Uh, I'm not feeling the greatest after that game, but I'll, I will take it. I will take it any way I can get it. Oh, God, we're going up against a druid. Quasin. Quasin, it is. Uh, Assassin's Blade's really good. I think I actually kind of want to go for that. Deal one damage, draw a card. Uh, deal two damage to the enemy hero. Um, I, uh, this isn't any creatures, though. Uh, I, uh, I want to keep that because it's so good. Assassin's Blade, I think, is going to have to go for now. Uh, maybe, maybe I'll get rid of this one. It's kind of a tough call. Um, Shiv. Uh, I think I'll get rid of Assassin's Blade for now and hope that I actually get a creature that I can afford to use. Nope, I got Eviscerate. So, we got lots of spells right here, which isn't that uncommon being okay another eviscerate so deal one damage and draw a card so i'm wondering if i should do that right away or kind of hang on to it in fact i'm gonna go ahead and do it just to draw a card i feel like early card draw is probably the way to go and there it is return an enemy minion to its hand and okay all right so lots of abilities right now somehow even though i have like 15 to 20 creatures still still no actual creature cards in my hand there's another card that does me absolutely no good uh, I can't do any of these. These are all combo cards. So for now, we're just going to go ahead and charge up our little dagger. And might as well attack him for the mirror one, which I'm okay with. And uh, we'll, we'll poke him in the man nipples in just a little bit. I feel like his nipple is not really, not that I spend a lot of time looking at guys' nipples, but doesn't that look like it's just not in the right spot? I feel like it's not. It's like almost under his armpit, I feel like. But uh, either way, he's going to go ahead and attack me for the one. I feel like his ability is so much better than mine, but... I guess I get mine for two turns, so there's always that. All right, so now I do have the Defias Bandit. Uh, I don't really have anything else that I can use because um, I basically need to wait until I can start comboing these. So for now, I'm going to go ahead and do this. I'm going to poke him in the face. And so far, we are just we are just slow rolling game number two right now as uh, we are both doing just a tiny bit of damage to each other. Maybe he'll do the same thing. We'll just have to wait and see. I do think that the shapeshift ability is freaking phenomenal. It is so good. All right, he's going to use his mana coin. He's going to get four mana. What's he going to use? Uh, okay, he decides to use that. And he's going to use something that costs two mana, I assume, because he did use his mana coin. So, all right, there's that. Choose one, give your mana plus one, plus one, or summon a three, two panther. All right, so he's going to go ahead and go for the 3-2 Panther, deal 2 damage to an enemy hero. You can combo it uh, and return it to your hand. Um, return it enemy minion. I wonder if I do that. Uh, it's not really worth it, is it? Um, deal 2 damage to the enemy hero, deal 2 damage combo, deal 4 damage instead. I mean, that would be nice to have, but I think what I'm going to have to do is uh, I'm going to have to combo the 2 damage, and then, yeah, I think I'm going to do that. So I'm definitely going to do this. Go ahead and do two damage there. Kill that off. I feel like he wasted a good card there. And then I'm wondering if I should do... Uh, I think I kind of want to do the bandit for now. We're going to get the bandit out on the field. So there he is. Job done. Two, three, and a two, one. I'm actually not sure exactly what uh, Druids can do about this. If he has Moonfire, he can probably kill off one of the guys. And deal four damage to an enemy and one damage to all other enemies. Wow. Getting swipe on this turn takes out my guy. No fun there. I do have another Defias Bandit, though. And uh, unfortunately, these are all combo cards. So not a whole lot of luck right here. See, I don't know. I, I feel like summoning this guy right now for 2-3 is probably not worth it just because I don't have another card. Deal 2 damage to the enemy hero combo. Return this to your hand next turn. I would love to be able to hang on to these. Um, was hoping for some more useful cards. So I think for now... We're going to go ahead and charge this one up. Go ahead and poke him in the face, because that's going to be guaranteed damage anyway. 
And unfortunately, I don't think using these is a great idea. Because the combo is so good on these. Maybe I could do this one, but then if I could combo these back and forth, that's going to be four damage every turn. Uh, let's see. This is the one downside about my deck is that uh, deal two damage. I can deal four instead. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and end our turn here. Um, I do have the ability to, well, I'm trying to see. This costs six man. I'll be able to use it next turn. Return all minions to their owner's hand, which is not totally ideal. But so far, these decks, this deck has not played out quite how I was hoping it to. I might have to start uh, getting rid of some of these cards, though. But we'll see which creatures he decides to throw out. And all right, whenever you play a card, gain plus one, plus one. And he is going to play another card, deal three damage or deal one damage and draw a card. Which one is he going to do? He decides to go for the draw card. So he's going to go straight for that. This guy is now a 3-3. Three, three. So this one, I can deal. Let's see. I'm trying to think. Trying to think. Having him out right now is actually really, really good. Um, I can do that. Headcrack deal two damage to the enemy hero. Oh, I, oops, sorry, I bumped my mic. I wish that I could rearrange these cards. That would be, that would, that would ease my brain a little bit. So I'm wondering, I can kill him if I want to, or I can just use this and this. Deal four. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna do that. So that's gonna be three, and then two on there. Deal four to be able to kill that guy, because that guy is someone who will get out of hand very, very, very quickly. Uh oh, I didn't combo it right. Whoops. Um, that's. Huh. All right. Well, I messed that one out. That was uh, that was a big blunder. Although I wouldn't have been able to kill it e anyway. Um, I would have had to a poke it with my my guy, which I might actually just have to do. So we're gonna go ahead and do that one. I feel like getting out the extra bandit is much more important. And I guess let's go ahead and poke him in the face there. And that is going to be it. So the order of that was quite painful. Was quite painful. Now that I'm kind of looking at it, because this guy could become a five five. He could be a six six. I'm hoping that I can kill him off pretty darn soon, though. Um, I think I'll be able to. Or if nothing else, I can return him to his hand. But that's not very good. The Vanish actually is not that great. I probably should have went for more creatures. Is kind of what I'm wondering here. Because what I could have done differently, I feel like, is deal the two damage to there. And then when I summon him, it would have killed it off. Then I would have had the Defias guy, though. So depending on how this goes, deal two damage or silence him. And then he decided to deal the two damage. And that should make him a 5-5, five, five, right? Oh, whenever you play a card. I guess he's up to a 4-4 four, four right now. But uh, he did decide to do that and not deal the damage there. So I'm wondering. He does have a 2-4, which isn't the most terrifying thing in the world just yet. You know what? I'm sick of this kite. I blame this kite for that, uh, for that misplay. Absolute atrociousness. Atrociousness. Give your minions plus one, plus one, or summon a three panther. He did decide to go for the panther, which I think is an interesting choice. But uh, either way, I am fine by that. So spell power plus one. Do I have any way of killing this guy off, though? I mean, sure, I can use this right away. But I'm wondering, so if I play a card. Uh, let's see. I can do four and then kill it off with one of these guys. So I need to play something before that. I'm wondering... I mean, that's not the best card. I'm trying to think because my, my hand right now is not is not ideal. Deal two damage to the enemy hero. So I'm wondering... Hmm, I don't want to take that five damage to the face. So I can either sacrifice these two guys, deal two damage. That's going to bring him down to three... Um, let's go ahead and return this guy to his hand, which I know is kind of silly, but uh, either way. All right, we got to wait for the combo, so we're going to go ahead and deal four damage. Got to get rid of him because he will get out of control mighty fast. Um, I'm really not too worried about the druid over here. Um, I can go ahead and activate this. I could kill off this guy. I think that's what I'm going to do. That's only going to be two damage there. That'll finish him off do a little bit to the face, and that was okay. I have a feeling I'm going to be losing these guys right here, though. Um, I have a feeling that it is not going to be good for them. Because if he has a Moonfire, if he has a Swipe, uh, he can use his Druid ability. He's really got a lot of options here to kill these off. Deal four damage to an enemy and one damage to all other enemies. Yeah, there you go. God, Swipe is so good. Swipe is amazing. It is amazeballs. But uh, he's going to go ahead and summon that Panther right there that I returned to his hand. And I have a feeling... All right, there's a Core Hound. Um, that is going to be spell power, so I can do that, uh, and then that one if I would like. Hmm. 
So I think what I'm going to do is seven. Yeah, I want to go ahead and do that right now. Ready for this. And that's going to go ahead and make it three damage to his face, which is great. And that's also going to return it to my hand go. if I did it correctly. Hopefully I did it in the correct order here. We, uh, we shall see if it actually was in the correct order or not. There it is. So if I can keep this guy alive, hopefully I can do six damage next turn. But also I'll have the... No, actually, I'll be able to use the Core Hound and then use this again. So I'm okay with that. We'll see if he actually manages to kill my Arc Mage or not. Actually, I just noticed if you hover over the card, it shows you which cards it actually benefits. That's kind of cool. 8-8 eight, eight with Taunt. Ugh. That's going to be that's gonna be bad news. Um, how much did that cost? That costed 8. Um, deal 3 damage to an enemy minion. I don't think I can actually kill that off, though. So that's going to be 8, 9, 10, 11. So he can actually kill me next turn if I don't deal with that. So I think my only option is actually going to be Vanish. And how much did that guy cost? It did cost 8, so for him to replay that uh, is going to cost him a lot. So I think if I do this one and then this one. So we're going to go ahead and do that one. All those guys are going back to your hand, including mine apparently, which is totally fine. It is definitely better than losing next turn. And let's go ahead and do, if I do that, that's going to be 2. Uh, I'm trying to see if I should do my Dagger. And then have a guaranteed next hit. Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and do the... Well, the dagger's only plus one damage, though, huh? So we're going to go ahead and do that one. Might as well punch him in his face for 18. Or he's down to 18. I don't know, though. This is not looking great. He is definitely ahead right now. Haven't had the best synergy. Um, I'd love to get someone with taunt. I just don't think I have taunt cards in my deck now that I think about it. Whenever you play a card, gain plus one, plus one. And he's going to throw that guy out. So he's not going for... He, is, he does have a lot of guys to summon. I'm, d I'm curious to see what I get next turn, because I can kill one thing. I can kill the Panther. What card do I get? Valkyrie, give a friendly minion stealth. All right, so that's going to be 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. All right, if I don't find a way to deal with this pretty soon. So I can definitely deal 2 damage and kill off the Panther. So that's going to be that's gonna be a no-brainer. I have to do that. So that's going to get out of here. And then I'm going to still have 10 mana. I can deal 4 damage to him. Uh, I don't think I want to do that, though. I can do four damage in this guy, or I can do both of these. Uh, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I'm wondering if I go ahead and do this one. Ready for this? Get the Archmage back out there. Sure, I can do three damage, but that's going to be a problem. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So if he has any way to do four damage to me, that is going to be it. So go ahead and give him stealth. Not that it's really going to matter all that much, but uh, if he's able to do a little bit of damage to me, then this could be this could be quite troublesome. This is not looking great for me, guys. I, I feel like I have so many Defias guys in my in my deck, but none of them are in my hands, which is really which is really sad for me. So he's looking right there. If he has anything that's going to be plus damage, that's going to be it. Yep, that's going to be it. That is it, everybody. That's going to be it. Wah wah wah. All right. Well, oh, it doesn't let you do well played after that. Uh, there we go. All right, so he was able to beat me there. I did make some mistakes, but I don't think they were so bad that I would have I would have ended up winning that. So let's go ahead and play yet another, and we'll see if our if our Defias if our Defias deck is going to uh, carry us through or not. Currently one one, but hey, I'm not I'm not too upset. I mean I'm, I'm I'll probably cry for like maybe an hour, maybe maybe 45 minutes if I'm feeling good. But that's okay. That is okay. Druids Druids are OP anyways, obviously. Obviously, they were they were OP in arenas for a long time, so that's what I'm uh, that's what I'm gonna blame, 100% blaming it on that. Ah, we are gonna be going up against the Paladin, which I might actually stand a chance against. Uh, we shall see. I finally get a creature. Destroy your weapon and deal its damage to all enemies. That one is funny. This rate deal two damage. It's a fairy dragon. Lo Whatever. We'll just go for it. We'll see. He switched out three cards, so hopefully he didn't end up getting a good draw on the second try. But we shall see. Cold Blood, give a minion uh, plus two attack or plus four attack instead. Go ahead and end our turn. Um, this this hand is very different than what we were seeing before. So I'm kind of curious to see. Shield Bear, zero four. That's a great first turn draw. Core Hound, that is not what I'm looking for right now. Uh, so we right now are just going to go ahead and do our little Fairy Dragon. Go ahead and get him out of there which isn't actually a great card versus Paladin. Can't be targeted by spells or hero powers, so the, the Paladin can still summon his guy and it can still attack the Fairy Dragon, but we'll see. 3-2 is still pretty nice. I'll be able to kill that guy uh, in one turn if I use my dagger, but hopefully 
Hopefully I get some pretty sick combos. I wasn't really able to combo things together last game. Not, not quite sure what I could have done there. I think I made a slight mistake in the early game, if I remember, but still, I'm done dwelling. We're, we're going to pop this blimp, or zeppelin if I could. But if nothing else, you can always summon a little 1-1 one, one, uh, recruit. A silver hand recruit, as it were. Uh, can't be targeted by spells or hero powers. That includes Let other spells as well. So I don't really know what spells Paladin would actually have, though. Yeah, he decides to go ahead and do that. That's going to be all he can do this turn. As he spent all of his mana, deal one damage and draw a card. I think I am actually going to do that right now. Uh, because I could give that guy a plus four attack. I feel like using that would be a little bit too early. So I think what I want to do is go ahead and deal the one damage. Go ahead and deal it to this guy. I could kill the other guy off if I wanted to, but, you know. Okay, got an eviscerate. So I can deal four damage instead if I want to. Still kill that guy. Uh, or I can give him plus four attack. The problem being is that it's only a three, two. So I'm wondering if I should deal the four damage. So I'm going to go ahead and kill that off. Kill that bad boy and uh, give a minion plus two attack. I don't think I want to do that just yet. I think I do want to deal four damage just while I can. Might as well get that one out of there, punch him in the face. And uh, having, you know, the fact that I have a second eviscerate already in my hand makes me want to use that because I'm probably not going to be able to use two in one turn anyway. But as a paladin, he may also have a lot of things that can heal him. So we'll see if that was a mistake or not. As, uh, what's this guy's name? Uh, Ohms? Ohms? Omsi? Oms, Oms. I'm going to go with Oms. Where we're going up against Oms. He's going to use his Mana Coin. I feel like I don't ever get the Mana Coin. I feel like Mana Coin as Rogue is really good. And he decides to actually attack me directly. Interesting choice. Uh, okay, so... Huh. Trying to see here. Because I can once again use the Bandit. But the problem is that I don't have the combo. I haven't really had much combo luck lately. So give him plus two attack. I wish this guy had plus four. I can deal the two damage. I feel like almost not even doing anything right now, because even if I poke him, it's going to be one damage. This guy's going to take one damage. Um, I can't really do too much about him anyway. Uh, four, five, that would bring it up to five. Hmm. Try to see what the best option is right now. Destroy weapon and deal its damage to all enemies. I feel like that is not ideal right now. That one is not ideal either. Uh, two, three. I would love to have him out, but um, I, I, all of these are just not ideal right now. So I'm thinking that I should attack. No, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait for now. We're just going to go ahead and end our turn right there. Not using that mana this early is definitely frustrating, but we'll just have to wait and see. Wait and see if I can pull it off. Trying to aim for a mid, uh, kind of mid late game, which is really where paladins tend to tend to kind of get as good as well. So maybe that'll end up working out. He's gonna go ahead and attack that, and then we'll probably attack that. The reason I didn't want to attack him directly is uh, he could have just summoned and killed it off, or would it have been better? Because I could have done damage, taken the one. No, it would have basically been the same exchange. So that actually ended up being about the same. Uh, destroy any minion damaged by this minion. He is such a fun card, such a fun card. I can deal two damage now. And then I can also, let's see, I could do that to him and then do that and then poke him if I wanted. Uh, since I don't really have any creatures, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead, since this is going to be four, right? Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Got to poke him in the back, deal that damage. And then I'm going to go ahead and do, let's see, so that's going to be two. I'll still have enough for a bandit if I want to. So I'm going to go ahead and do, yeah, so let's go ahead and do the kill this guy off with the four damage. That actually ended up being ideal. That'll kill him off, bring him down to one. And then I can go ahead and summon this guy now. So there's going to be that. And I feel like since he's going to be able to guarantee kill one of my guys, I should probably poke him in the face. Even though it's two damage, still, I think it's okay. Uh, I wonder if I should give him plus four. Would he have any way of doing that? I mean, it's only one mana. And I'm going to have six next turn. I probably won't get a six card. Uh, I'm wondering if I should give him plus four or wait till the core hounds out. Let's go ahead and wait just for now. Um, I, I don't know exactly what he has planned. And I don't want to spin this card just yet. This one I want to wait for when I have a weapon out. And hopefully be able to kind of wipe the board on his end. We'll have to wait and see, though. Defias Bandit, Defias Ringleader. Always a, always a happening card there. 
But, uh, yeah, yeah, you probably should summon one of these guys. Look at those beards. Let me think. Let me think. I feel like these guys have pretty lame beards, though. This is this is a much more epic beard. I don't know what it is about this one. This one just looks like an upside-down, like, set of hair is really what that one looks like, which is, ba look, guys, I know that's what a beard is, okay? All right, you don't got to give me a hard time. Uh, but he evidently doesn't have very good cards either. I mean, I feel like he doesn't have good cards. If he's taking this long, if he knew what he wanted to play, I feel like he would have played it already. So let's see what he's got. He is uh, kind of hovering through his cards. Don't worry, I can only do four damage to you next turn. Uh, plus this, if I'm able to play another card on the top of it. But I'm not sure what my next card's going to be. I wish that I could. But uh, keep in mind that Paladins don't have really a lot of draw power. They basically are slow rollers. They 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 kind of turtle behind tons of units with Divine Shield and all that. And, uh, oh, what's he got? All right, so he's going to use that charge. So it's actually a very good thing I did not use that ability because he would have been able to would have been able to basically kill that guy off, and that would have been an absolute waste of a card. Backstab deal two damage to an enemy minion, which is, you know, it's not bad. It's just I don't really have a whole lot going on here as far as cards are concerned. So I think what I want to do, go ahead and charge this one up. I should probably start poking him a little bit. And that's going to be the plus two attack. Probably go right up there. I probably should have killed that, but at the same time, uh, either way, it's going to be dead. So I might as well go for that. So we'll see. We'll see if that was the correct choice or not. But, uh, oh, I'm getting, getting a text message over here. Don't they know that I'm playing Hearthstone and being very good at it as well? Whenever minion dies, gain plus two attack. He's going to go ahead and kill that one off. And is that going to, yep, that brings him all the way up to plus four total already. Ooh. So he got plus two attack from those being sacrificed. So that was actually a great turn for him. Why does a paladin have a ghoul, though? That's the real question. That's the question I'm constantly asking myself. Uh, gain attack equal to the attack of your weapon. Apparently he doesn't have a weapon, so uh, no benefit there. Give your weapon plus two attack. So I think what I want to do right now is I don't have any way of killing that guy off just yet. So I'm going to go ahead and I think Corehound's the correct move here. I think that this is going to be the best move that I can do. So Corehound is on the field and might be able to kill off that ghoul next turn. Mm, we'll have to wait and see. That's going to be annoying because he'll be able to kill off my Corehound with his guys right now. Ah, so we'll see. Hopefully, hopefully my Corehound can make something happen here. That ghoul is very annoying. Very annoying, that is for sure. Uh, or I could charge him up with plus four. That's going to be 13 damage to his face next turn if he doesn't kill it. Uh, I, I wonder. So hopefully we can actually get uh, hopefully get a little bit of card action going on. Because uh, I haven't been able to use my weapon. What I could do is charge this, use this, and then backstab that. I, just, I don't know if it's worth it. I mean, the ghoul's good, but is he that good? Uh, change the health of all minions to one, of course. So that's going to be really, really good for him. And uh, deal two damage. All right, that was a great move for him. And this is going to be tons of damage to my face. Uh, I will be able to, though, kill them with this card next turn. So uh, even though he did the damage, I am going to be able to wipe out a lot of those. So what I think I want to do right now is uh, deal two damage to the enemy hero... So basically, I think I want to do this and then destroy weapon and deal its damage to all enemies. I'm wondering if I attack first, if I use this and then attack first, I can still use this, I think, because I still have my weapon. It's just not active. So what we're going to try and do here, uh, actually, I can, I can just kill him off anyway. So destroy weapon and deal its damage to all enemies. So that's going to be a 4-1. But then I can just backstab that guy anyway. Um, Let's see. Or I can just use this and destroy it and keep the backstab, which might be the way to go. So I think what I'm going to do is uh, go ahead and play this one right here. Do that. And go ahead and do this. Should be three damage to everybody. And then I can do a head crack to the face. And that's going to bring the card back into my hand. Go ahead and end our turn. 17 to 20. Still a pretty close game. Was able to wipe the board. Which, again, these games are expected to be slow versus Paladin. It is expected when you go against Paladin. Uh, so we did get a Murloc Tidehunter. And this guy does have Wind Fury, which is kind of annoying. And he's got some of that. So now he has a lot of stuff on the board as well. And unfortunately, I do not have an AoE that's going to kill everything. This guy does have charge, but I can't kill him. So, let's see. I can actually, I wonder if I should do that. Give a minion plus two. I'm trying to see what the actual correct choice is here. 
Um, so I can use this guy with charge. I need to kill off that Winfrey. That's going to be four damage. Um, four, five, six. So either way, I'm going to be using this. So that is a uh, that is a guaranteed thing that's going to happen. This guy has two. Yeah, so I can kill that if I want. Uh, go ahead and use this guy. I could use this, give him plus four, which is going to bring him to four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it's going to be good damage. So I think I'm going to go ahead and do this. That should give him the plus four. I'm also going to go ahead and head crack him in the face. And then I think I should just attack him right away. Because even if he uses if he uses Wind Fury guy on me, it's dead. If he uses any of those guys on me, it's dead. So what I can do is go ahead and attack him. Go ahead and poke him. Deal two damage to an enemy minion. Uh, I actually should have probably poked him. But uh, either way, I think I'm going to wait this one out. He is down to eight right now. So I can once again do two damage to him damage. So if he doesn't kill this, I'll win next turn. I have a feeling he's gonna have to kill it, though. He's gonna have to go for it. I mean, that's his really only option. I don't know what other cards he has, but uh, wait, what's that one? Uh-oh. Silence a minion. Does that take off his uh, his buff there? Yes, it does. That's very very saddening news for me. I assume he's gonna poke it with... Uh, actually, which ones would he use here? I don't know what, uh, what the best option is right now for him. I guess poking that right there, so that brings it down to one. Gonna kill that guy off, and I'll kill his Murloc, it looks like. Does he decide to go for it? Yes, he does. All right, so a couple creatures killed there, which is okay. We're both kind of running low on cards, though. We're starting to get into the late game right now. Restore two to all friendly characters. All right, that was a really good turn for him. If I don't get something good, then next turn he is gonna do four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve damage. Give a friendly minion stealth. That doesn't really do a whole lot for me. I can kill off, uh, I think what I have to do is actually charge this, so that's going to do two, so I need to kill that, um, let's see, I think Here what I need to do, go. I, so he can do four regardless, I can't kill this guy no matter what, um, five, so I think the correct thing to do is, uh, poke this guy, slice him in the face, we go. then poke him. That'll destroy that, and then I'm going to go for the dagger, just so I have it next turn. And I should probably summon her to maybe, hopefully... Well, I'll go ahead and do this one, just to uh, punch him in the face there. So he is down a little bit. I need to do this just to try and buy a little bit of time. I mean, can he do 15 damage to me really in one turn? Four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, he can do eight, so that's going to give me seven next turn. Plus, of course, if he has a card. And I'm wondering if I use this... Yeah, God, I just don't know what my next card is going to be, obviously. So we're going to go ahead and summon that one. And unfortunately, I can't use that stealth buff. But hmm, I can head crack him in the face. Still not nearly enough, though. Still not nearly enough to be able to slow roll him. And he's trying to do the math in his head. Like, all right. All right, what's going to happen here? If he has some sort of buff or something, this is going to be bad news. If he has something that buffs them. Okay, that guy has charge. Not the worst card. I am going to be able to kill that off, and I'm going to kill the eagle off. So I'm able to reduce his creature count, which is good. I obviously... St okay, what's this? What is his last card? What is it? Freeze a character. All right, so he's going to freeze me. So now, next turn, I am dead if I don't get a good card. If I do not get a good card, then this game is all over. So I don't think I even have any good cards, to be completely honest. So this may, this may go quite poorly for me. And, yep, a Defias Bandit. That is not what I was hoping for. So, at this point, I think that there is nothing I can do. So that's going to be 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And I can punch him in his face, but that's going to be it. So, there we go. And that's going to be... That's, yep, that's going to be it for me. Well, well played. played. Well played. So, I feel like maybe making a deck that is all two mana cards might not be the way to go. I, I'm starting to regret that decision, but uh, next reward at level 20 is a Golden Sinister Strike. It's going to take us a while to get to level 20, though, at this pace. So currently down 1-2 for my first, I would call this my first official arena. I know I did a couple right when the game came out, but 1-2. Uh, 1-2 one and, two. One and two here. We're going we're gonna to continue through, though. Might as well keep playing after losing. After losing 2-0, we, we got to see if I can actually make a comeback or not, or if that is going to be it. Which, uh, you know, if that was it, at least I won one.
At least I won one. We're going to go up against Cayman. You asked for it. Uh, Vanish, definitely don't want this. And we have good synergy with these. So I can get him down to... If I do that, that's going to be one, three, and bring it down to one. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and go with this for now. This hand isn't looking the worst. All right. All right. This isn't the worst hand we've had, guys. This is not the worst hand we've had by any means. So we'll see. We shall see. All right. So I finally got the coin. And I got an Assassin's Blade. So I'm wondering if I do this, add that on there, that's going to be plus one. Next turn, I use this. That's plus three. Uh, then I can actually summon him next turn. Uh, if I use the coin to do that, I can have this guy out super early. And that is a 3-3 three, three on turn two. If I'm doing my math correctly, which I think I may be, uh, my other stuff is super low cost anyway. Um, or what I can do is wait, and then next turn I'll have two mana. And then is there anything I want to use that cost one mana though at that point? I really don't. So I think... My magic will tear I'm you one, got it. Oh, I can get him out next turn, but it's gonna take two cards to do it. Or I can wait, and then it'll be turn two, oh, and then I'll have soon. three, and I'll get this guy. You know what? Let's go ahead and end our turn. Or actually, you know what? This is stupid. What am I doing? Go ahead and do that. That counts as that. Go ahead and summon him. All right, there we go. That's a little bit better. Unfortunately, he can use his fire blast to kill it off. If he wants to kill that uh, two one creature, it's probably honestly in his in his best interest to do that. So he will probably do that. I would assume. Are you gonna do that? No, he actually deals one damage to uh, all enemy minions. That was a bad choice. That was actually a horrible choice for him. I feel like that was not the correct choice. Um, I might be I might be mistaken. Who knows? Who knows? Uh, I don't know if I actually want him yet. I feel like. I want to use this ability for now. Just to have that. That's going to give me my fancy little dagger. And next turn, I can use this if I want. Plop that down. Or I can use this for one. This is going to bring him down to one. And then I'll have one left over, which I can't really use for anything. And decides to actually attack me. Can't say I blame him, though. Deal two damage. Okay. Let's see. So give your weapon plus, uh, plus two attack. Then I can summon him if I want to. Or, actually, what I should do, I feel like, is use this. And then that allows me to summon this guy. Which is once again going to be another one of those. Uh, and I should poke him in the face. And then next turn, this thing should only cost one mana. If I, if I did my calculations correctly... That should only cost one mana, although for Here now I should probably go. just poke him in the face. And then next turn I can use that. Okay, so I have a little bit of synergy right now. Um, next turn's gonna be four, so I wanna use this dagger anyway, because I'm gonna have this one out pretty soon. So, need to get rid of that. Anyways, I wanna save this guy for now, because Patient Assassin can kill a very high cost creature in one shot. So, we'll see if that ends up working out. He's gonna go ahead and use Dalaran Mage. Again, I, I feel like he should be killing off my individual bandits, but uh, we'll see. All right, that is not the card I was hoping for by any means. But I can at least do this guy. So he only costs one. He has taunt as well. Don't forget that. And I'm going to go ahead and use that on him. Keeping his creatures down is the way to go. Go ahead and poke in the face. Poke in the face. And... I Here do want to poke go. him as well. So far, so good. The uh, the deadly poison came in quite handy there. It allowed me to get out my guy much cheaper. It allowed me to poke her in the face twice, which is uh, pretty darn good. We'll see what she has, though. But right now, I actually I actually have board control with my creatures, which is kind of a surprise. Um, okay, that took all of her mana. And summon a Defias Bandit. So I think now this is actually a perfect time to play this guy. And I'm also going to play this one. So we got lots of these guys on the field. I think ideally three, four, five, six, seven. I don't think losing all these creatures to kill him is worth it. Because I think I can just kill him next turn. And really, honestly, he can only do two damage. So I'm not too worried about that. What I am worried about is can you shoot it with fireball? Can you shoot your own guys with fireball and get him to be ramped up for plus three attack? 
I actually never thought about that before. Uh, did play a secret card, which cost three mana. Don't mess with Tusker. Don't mess with Tusker. <sighs> All right. Well, he's not. Well, maybe he does want to attack me. It's just next turn he's dead, so uh, he might as well attack with the Berserker. That's exactly what he's gonna do. That's gonna bring you to a five four, I believe. Yep, five four. And I still have my guy with Taunt, which is actually awesome. So uh, I think what I want to do right now is play this just because Assassin's Blade is awesome. And then I want to kill him with that. So we're going to go ahead and do Assassin's Blade. Now, the thing is, is that I can kill this guy with two creatures if I want to. Or just poke him to death with this. And then do 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Oh, wait, wait. Can I actually just kill him right now? <laughs> Let's see. Let's see what happens with this one. But I think I can just kill him, can I? As soon as you... Ah, he gets the eight armor, though. All right, so I'm going to have to do the math really quick. So it's two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I can't kill him yet. So I think what I want to do is just poke this guy. And that'll kill him off. And then... Start working him down just a tiny, tiny bit. Get him pretty darn low. And I definitely need to poke him. I wonder if I should kill this guy off, though. No, I'm going to poke him just in case. Go ahead and end the turn. Uh, end our turn right here. Come on. There we go. God, wasn't I, I broke the button. You guys see that? I broke the button. The button is officially broken. I... <laughs> All right. Well, I don't know what happened there, but for some reason, I broke the button. And he concedes! Oh my god, I actually won one! Oh, thank god, this video is not going to be totally humiliating. As uh, I was able to win one. I don't really, I gotta be honest, um, I don't like playing mage in arenas. Uh, I just don't know what it is. It's just not, it's just not my, my cup of tea. But uh, I am two and two, so I'm actually okay so far with this run. Even if I lose the next one, at least in my very first run ever, I was able to, uh, to win two games, okay? That is good uh, good enough for me. We're going up against Black Skull. Oh, excuse me. He is a shaman who can probably actually kick my butt. Let's see. We got the Defiance Bandit. Blade Flurry is always good. We also got Eviscerate. Uh, let's see. Destroy a weapon and deal its damage to all enemies. I feel like it might be too soon for that. Um, and remember, all my, costs, all my cards are low cost anyway. So maybe I should just do this. Maybe keep this one out, but at the same time, I think I'm going to do this, because that will help me summon that guy a little bit easier. Uh, okay, we got Sap and Cold Blood. Cold Blood is pretty awesome. I must admit, it is pretty darn cool. So, let's see what Mr. Shaman does. Nothing. I feel like, I honestly feel like the coin is a little bit OP for rogues. Um, because basically on this turn, what I can do is use the coin and then summon both these guys, which might be good versus Shaman, get, get the early map control, or I can wait till next turn, I can get him out if I want and deal the two damage, um, or I, next turn, if he has a creature out, I can deal two damage for free, then play him, then I could use this and use that, um, I'm going to try going for the early board control. That is uh, that is going to be my strategy versus this Shaman. Just try and kill off any early totems he starts to summon. Because if those if those totems get rolling, they can be quite annoying, is, uh, is all I have to say about that. So see if I actually did this too soon. Does have a guy with Wind Fury, which I'll probably just kill off with my own guy anyway. So that's not that big of a deal. Um, we do have this guy now. I can deal two damage if I want to. Uh, I think I'm just going to go ahead and use this ability. Maybe I should actually poke it. I think that's what I'm going to do. I think, just one, I think taking the one damage on the point is worth it. And then that's going to open up four damage to him. So basically, I took one damage myself to be able to deal four, which uh, I think is okay. Next turn, I can use this guy if I want to. He's going for a totem. This is actually a good sign so far. He got lucky on the healing one. That's gonna basically going to be pay two to heal one, um, which is fine. Can't be targeted by hero powers. So I'm wondering if I should summon him right now. I think I should. I think that's probably the best. But I don't want to backstab the totem. That seems like a waste. I don't want to sap the totem, which uh, would just be silly. So let's see. I think I think he's the right choice right now. I mean, Fairy Dragon is nice, but um, you know what, though? 
I think actually, I think this might actually be the better play right now. If I do that, and then give a minion plus two attack, and then use this. I mean, I just don't know if this is too early to do this, but I feel like the extra damage is worth it. So we're gonna go ahead and do that one. Stab him across the face, and then maybe hang on to this until next turn. Because who knows what card I'm gonna, or I can just do a guarantee one damage. Um, you know what? I feel like my early map control is doing okay. I'm gonna Here poke him. Gotta go for the poke. Gotta poke him right in the face. And uh, I didn't break the button this time, so that's a good thing. But so far, definitely in the lead. However, I am very afraid of Shaman. If uh, if they get out a couple of totems or they get out those Spirit Wolves. Spirit Wolves are so freaking annoying. So annoying. We'll see if he actually manages to get that or not. Uh, kind of curious to see. All right, he's got to use his totem power. And this time he does get the spell power one which is going to be good if he has a spell, which it looks like he has cards that he wants to use, but so far, I mean, this is going okay. Especially if my Defias guy survives yet another turn, then uh, that is okay by me. I bet he wishes he could use his totem power again. I, I, I think he would probably enjoy... Oh, wow. Wow. Uh, okay, so I guess I'm just going to summon this guy. I'm trying to see if there's any better options. I mean, I can get my dagger. This costs two, and that'll actually, no, I won't have enough to use him next, or this turn though. Deal two damage to an enemy minion. I, I just feel like right now I have good map control, so don't give that up. Um, so for now, I do know that I'm gonna attack that. I know that I'm gonna do this. I know that I'm gonna do that. Um, if I use this, that's gotta be two, and it's really the only thing I can do this turn. I can do one more damage to him, or I I want to use this because I want to protect these guys as much as I possibly can, and go ahead and end that turn. So 29 to 11. I don't know if I got a good draw or he just got a really bad one. We'll see if he has the makings of a comeback at all. But uh, all right, so he does have that guy out, but that doesn't help him this turn. That does not help him. So unless this two mana card, he's able to do something with it. No, you can't attack my guys. You have to attack the one with charge. Um, now he's got one more mana and gives it taunt. Okay. He, at this point, I feel like he's just in desperation mode. I feel like that is, that is all there is to it. Your other minions have plus one attack. That is awesome. That actually couldn't have been a better time for this. Uh, so I think that's what I'm going to do. Other minions have plus one attack. I think I'm just going to crush this game, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and sacrifice this guy. And we'll go ahead and do that one, and goodbye. Wow, that was easy. That was that was a pretty easy game. Round five. I was able to do enough damage in round five. Didn't get much experience for it, but hey, I was able to win. So I think I'm gonna actually end the video right here. We are currently three and two. Our key's getting a little bit fancier here. Yes, my deck is bad. Yes, I'm bad, but hey man, this game is still a lot of fun. Hope you guys enjoy it, and I'll see you guys next time. And that is going to be it. So the order of that was quite painful. Was quite painful now that I'm kind of looking at it because this guy could become a 5-5. Five five. He could be a 6-6. Six six. I'm hoping that I can kill him off pretty darn soon, though. Um, I think I'll be able to. Or if nothing else, I can return him to his hand. But that's not very good. The Vanish actually is not that great. I probably should have went for more creatures is kind of what I'm wondering here. Because hmm. what I could have done differently, I feel like, is deal the two damage to there, and then when I summon him, it would have killed it off. Then I would have had the Defias guy, though. So depending on how this goes, deal two damage or silence him, and he decided to deal the two damage, and that should make him a 5-5, five five, right? Oh, whenever you play a card. I guess he's up to a 4-4 four four right now. But uh, he did decide to do that and not deal the damage there. So, wondering. He does have a 2-4, which isn't the most terrifying thing in the world just yet. Do -do -do -do. You know what? I'm sick of this kite. I blame this kite for that uh, for that misplay. Absolute atrociousness. Atrociousness. Give your minions plus one, plus one, or summon a three two panther. He did decide to go for the panther, which I think is an interesting choice. But uh, either way, I am fine by that. So spell power plus one. Do I have any way of killing this guy off? Though? I mean, sure, I can use this right away. But I'm wondering, so if I play a card... 
Uh, let's see. I can do four and then kill it off with one of so these guys. So I need to play something before that. I'm wondering... I mean, that's not the best card. I'm trying to think because my, my hand right... Hello everyone, this is HGS Guys here back with some more Hearthstone Arena action. As you can tell, I'm currently 1-0 with my ridiculous deck. Now, uh, the first game is uploaded on my main channel, youtube.com slash huskystarcraft. However, I am going to be playing any Hearthstone videos in the future that I play will be on this channel, youtube.com slash husky. If you don't like Hearthstone, well, you're probably not in the beta. It is honestly an extremely fun game. Highly recommended as soon as you can get in. And let's go ahead and continue. Now, I also want to say a lot of you in the other video at least on the other channel I, I like I like to think it's two different groups of people a lot of you are giving me a hard time about being really bad at the game and I just want to say in my defense I'm actually really bad at the game that's totally fine we're here to have fun let's go ahead and keep on playing we're gonna match up against somebody We'll just have to wait and see who it is. Now, I did do a couple of practice games versus bots as a rogue deck. Of course, you can't use the same deck that I'm currently using because it is my arena-only deck. But uh, we'll have to wait and see. Also, keep in mind that I am very, very low on actual cards that cost mana. So I'm kind of curious to see if I'm able to win any more games or if that one game was pure luck. Uh, I'm not feeling the greatest after that game, but I'll, I will take it. I will take it any way I can get it. Oh, God, we're going up against a druid. Quasin. Quasin it is. Uh, Assassin's Blade's really good. I think I actually kind of want to go for that. Deal one damage, draw a card. Uh, deal two damage to the enemy hero. Um, I, uh, this isn't any creatures, though. Uh, I, uh, I want to keep that because it's so good. Assassin's Blade, I think, is going to have to go for now. Uh, maybe, maybe I'll get rid of this one. It's kind of a tough call. Um, Shiv. And so, all right, there's that. Choose one, give your minus plus one, plus one, or summon a 3-2 Panther. All right, so he's going to go ahead and go for the 3-2 Panther. Deal two damage to an enemy hero. You can combo it uh, and return it to your hand. Um, return it enemy minion... I wonder if I do that. Uh, it's not really worth it, is it? Um, deal two damage to the enemy hero. Deal two damage combo. Deal four damage instead. I mean, that would be nice to have. But I think what I'm going to have to do is uh, I'm going to have to combo the two damage. And then, yeah, I think I'm going to do that. So I'm definitely going to do this. Go ahead and do two damage there. Kill that off. I feel like he wasted a good card there. And then I'm wondering if I should do... Uh, I think I kind of want to do the bandit for now. We're going to get the bandit out on the field. So there he is. Job done. 2 3 and a 2 1. I'm actually not sure exactly what uh, Druids can do out this. If he has Moonfire, he can probably kill off one of the guys and deal 4 damage to an enemy and 1 damage to all other enemies. Wow. Getting swipe on this turn takes out my guy. No fun there. I do have another Defiance Bandit, though. And uh, unfortunately, these are all combo cards. So not a whole lot of luck right here. See, I don't know. I, I feel like summoning this guy right now for 2-3 is probably not worth it just because I don't have another card. Deal 2 damage to the enemy hero combo. Return this to your hand next turn. I would love to be able to hang on to these. Um, was hoping for some more useful cards. So I think for now, we're going to go ahead and charge this here one up. Go ahead and poke him in the face because that's going to be guaranteed damage anyway. And unfortunately, I don't think using these is a great idea. Because the combo is so good on these. Maybe I could do this one, but then if I could combo these back and forth, that's going to be four damage every turn. Uh, let's... Uh, I think I'll get rid of Assassin's Blade for now and hope that I actually get a creature that I can afford to use. Nope, I got Eviscerate. So we got lots of spells right here, which isn't that uncommon. Being, okay, another Eviscerate. So deal one damage and draw a card. So I'm wondering if I should do that right away or kind of hang on to it. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and do it just to draw a card. I feel like early card draw is probably the way to go. And there it is. Return an enemy minion to its hand. And okay. All right. So lots of abilities right now. Somehow, even though I have like 15 to 20 creatures, still, still no actual creature cards in my hand. There's another card that does me absolutely no good. Uh, I can't do any of these. These are all combo cards. So for now, we're just going to go ahead and charge up our little dagger. And might as well attack him for the mirror one, which I'm okay with. And uh, we'll, we'll poke him in the man nipples in just a little bit. I feel like his nipple is not really, not that I spend a lot of time looking at guys' nipples, but doesn't that look like it's just not in the right spot? I feel like it's not. It's like almost under his armpit, I feel like. But uh, either way, he's going to go ahead and attack me for the one. I feel like his ability is so much better than mine, but... I guess I get mine for two turns, so there's always that. All right, so now I do have the Defias Bandits. Uh, I don't really have anything else that I can use 
Um, because I basically need to wait until I can start comboing these. So for now, gonna go ahead and do this. Going to poke him in the face. And so far, we are just, we are just slow rolling game number two right now. As uh, we are both doing just a tiny bit of damage to each other. Maybe he'll do the same thing. We'll just have to wait and see. I do think that the shapeshift ability is freaking phenomenal. It is so good. Alright, he's gonna use his mana coin. He's gonna get four mana. What's he gonna use? Uh, okay, he decides to use that. And he's gonna use something that costs two mana, I assume. Because he did use his mana coin. See, this is the one downside about my deck, is that uh, deal two damage, I can deal four instead. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and end our turn here. Um, I do have the ability to, well, I'm trying to see. This costs six mana. I'll be able to use it next turn. Return all minions to their owner's hand, which is not totally ideal. But so far, these decks, this deck has not played out quite how I was hoping it to. I might have to start uh, getting rid of some of these cards, though. But we'll see which creatures he decides to throw out. And all right, whenever you play a card, gain plus one, plus one. And he is going to play another card, deal three damage or deal one damage and draw a card. Which one is he going to do? He decides to go for the draw card. So he's going to go straight for that. This guy is now a 3-3. Three, three. So this one, I can deal. Let's see. I'm trying to think. Trying to think. Having him out right now is actually really, really good. Um, I can do that. Head crack, deal two damage to the enemy hero. Oh, I, oops, sorry, I bought my mic. I wish that I could rearrange these cards. That would be, that would, that would ease my brain a little bit. So I'm wondering, I can kill him if I want to, or I can just use this and this. Deal four. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do that. So that's going to be three, and then two on there, deal four to be able to kill that guy. Because that guy is someone who will get out of hand <laughs> very, very, very quickly. Uh, oh, I didn't combo it right. Whoops. Um, That's... Huh. All right. Well, I messed that one out. That was uh, that was a big blunder. Although I wouldn't have been able to kill it e anyway. Um, I would have had to poke it with my my guy, which I might actually just have to do. So we're gonna go ahead and do that one. I feel like getting out the extra bandit is much more important. And I guess let's go ahead and poke him in the face there. 